Hot, 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 hot. Spooky season booty. It is. That means welcome to the Pat Cave Spooky Edition. <laughs> Today I am yeah. Pat Clark, and with me as always, Boogeyman Booty. The Boogeyman Boots. Boogeyman Boots. <laughs> oh, dang yeah. it. That's what I'm changing That's it so to much next better week. Better than mine. Oh, uh, man. Okay, so. A theater major, so. What? Horrible, horrible movie did we watch today, buddy? Oh, that's a strong. <laughs> We're coming in hot. Um, <laughs> so, guys, we watched Don't Look Under the Bed, which, not as good as I thought. I h- hate this movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to like it a lot. It did scare me as a kid. I will admit that. I think it's easier to just admit to the, our viewers that like we think that we watched this movie but there was so much in this movie that I don't remember seeing. Oh, I, I remember watching it multiple, multiple times as like, a kid. Like, just as a rerun? Yeah. I feel like this is like that classic movie like where I came home from school or like playing in the neighborhood, and I grab a snack, and I sit down, and I'm already 15 minutes into this movie. Gotcha. But it doesn't make sense to change the channel. Like, Yeah, you said you don't remember the beginning. <laughs> at all. <laughs> at all. Like, the weird camera angles of him fluttering. Oh, the Dutch angles. The Dutch like, angles? Is that what you call them? Yeah, or, you know, canted angles. It's basically like they had a broken tripod the whole movie. Yeah, you on Heelys would have been better. <laughs> yeah. Than sing, like well, and, and I aspects. get, you know, they're supposed to, like, do it in when things are creepy, right? Yeah, like a specter's, like, flying through yeah, the air. Like yeah, yeah. But then they're just, like, having regular conversations, and I'm like, my... I, <laughs> My neck started to hurt. I, I was yeah. looking at the uh, movie with the tilted head. Oh, my God. There was just so many weird ass things and like haunted tropes that that they overused. Littered this overused. movie. Yeah. It was kind of like. I think they had to fill up a runtime of some sort. And they were just like, let's try all these little spooky camera tricks. You know, the, the yeah. disappearing, the walking through the mirror, coming out of the crock pot in the, the kitchen all heads tilting yeah to the all those things it's minute. like they just used them over and over and over again and yeah right, right now in the edit i'll probably put like <laughs> every time fran francis our main character yeah would get surprised that larry our yeah. main character would disappear yeah and it's like how many times does he do it why do you keep being surprised <laughs> yeah i mean that's not the only thing he does a lot he likes to shop for clothing well, imaginarily, so of he's course. A, he, yeah, Larry is an imaginary friend, yeah. right? Yeah, should we jump into the synopsis a little bit? Yeah. So I don't think we even, like, we know this movie. Like, we we, we just, just watched it. I hope we would know it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so so we open, and we're just, like, in Middleburg, which we are, it's suspect, like, we suspect that we're in Canada. We don't suspect. We know. We know, because I haven't, <laughs> yeah. like, fully research that part well but there's okay, a look mountain massive massive mountains the dialect the oh you know oh, they tried to hide Sorry. that they tried to hide that yeah and then multiple hockey references multiple hockey references um and everyone just looked kind of weird yeah and there's a no v- offense to the <laughs> oh yeah no offense to canadians so- sorry um the town itself like yeah mountainous but like it was just it was just like cookie cutter to call it Middleburg. Anyways, let's move well, on. Well, next to Middleburg was like Centralville. Centralville. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So was, they knew it. I mean, it is. We got to remember, Booty. It's a kids' movie. Yeah. Okay. Believe it or not, <laughs> this movie might <laughs> no, not <thanks>. make sense. <laughs> um, so there's a catastrophic event that's crippling this town of Middleburg. Uh, the clock's been crazily fast, and then yeah, a bunch of sudden, pranks. Bunch of pranks. Yeah. Yeah. And like really crazy ones and nothing like too harmful. I mean, it probably took a lot of time to get all that gelatin out of the swimming pool and the that eggs guy's on the car. car. I mean, that was like 3000 eggs. That car is done. So how probably. much does like doing a new paint job on a car cost? All Regardless, right. like what's, <laughs> I, what's the point of all these pranks that the boogeyman's doing in my like own like just viewing this movie? I've always assumed that it was to mess with just Francis. So the aspect of like it being the town. There's really not a like. There's only a handful of pranks that we witness. So like, okay, so this is in the Boogeyman playbook. It's like, hey, if if so, for those that haven't seen it, if you're imagine it, when you stop believing in your imaginary friend too soon, you become that a boogeyman. Ima- not you, but your no. imaginary friend be- becomes yes. a boogeyman. Comes a boogeyman. There's multiple boogey persons, and so <laughs> these pranks are just lashing out to a human that's forgotten their imaginary so first, friend. First, he wants to frame her. Right, 
yeah, but humility. Why? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah, there's no rhyme or reason as to why they're using pranks. He could just kill her. I, he should, he, it's anytime. a horror movie. Anytime, Don't get her, buddy. <laughs> uh, so like, yeah, like let's talk about some of the pranks, like gelatin in the swimming pool, um, egg egging the teacher's Eggs car. On the car. Was there another one that? Yeah, was... well, there's graffiti all over the town. Dogs on the roof. Dogs on the roof. And the, the clock's got the boogeyman like uses his like creepy nail and like cuts open a doggy bag and like gives all the dogs yeah. treats. Like he had a plan to like go feed all the neighborhood dogs on the roof. Yeah, he's just a dog guy. He's a planner, is what he is. <laughs> um, yeah, so like all that's going on, and we meet Francis. We finally well, Francis is kind and of narrating her, it. What's her name? Francis Bacon McCausland, and they made a reference to. A Francis Bacon. So real quick, who is like I, a, a lord uh, from like Great Britain? Did you look that up? Yeah. Thank you. Um, no, I knew that one. Is, no, I looked it Francis up. Is Francis Bacon? You <laughs> no, made that I, up? No, no, oh. I looked it up because they made a reference to it, and I was like, "What the heck yeah. um, was that, Mister Bacon?" It might have been Bacon, but they Kevin also bacon. they also had a they also had a pig mailbox. They did. That so was that's really weird. Just her. Well, they like bacon about her though. Yeah, I know, <gasps> but like Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon. <laughs> I like some chicken cordon bleu. Wow, but he's uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, so Francis Bacon, former Lord High Chancellor of Great Britain. Um, <laughs> yes. Oh, he he was styling. I've if you see that picture, yeah, uh, on yeah. Britannica, like that's definitely like I've seen that. Photo. That's a guy we know. Yeah, but what is he best known <laughs> for? This is a great question. He Inventing was an English bacon. Renaissance statesman and philosopher, best known for his promotion of the scientific method. Why? Okay. Th- then it stands to reason this movie should have made sense. It was not logical. Uh uh-uh, uh. She wasn't. kept saying, "If one thing leads to another, then it's logically gone and stuff like oh, that." Oh yeah, like right in the beginning when all these pranks are happening, she's getting blamed for them, and she's she, really it's kind smart. Of her fault. She's, she's skipped a grade. She's so smart. I don't. Anyway, let's anyways, move on. Things are going wrong for her. She's getting blamed for all of these pranks, and meanwhile, she keeps running into this. Uh, imaginary person imaginary person and his name is larry so he is uh ty hodges who we recognized as being um also named larry larry beal and even stevens and even stevens yeah. friends <laughs> rival uh i don't know if like very charismatic this actor yeah and does he is he also like lewis's bully too kind of he He's just yeah. a jerk. He's yeah, a jerk. He, he's a jerk because he wants to one up Ren, you know, that, that whole thing. Yeah, I'm not. And I feel like I'm. she's in some other things too. I didn't really recognize a lot well, of Well, I did but... recognize the dad from Gold, oh, the Goldbergs. Yeah. You know, yes. I love the Goldbergs. Um, I, I have to say, so that that is Steven Tobolowski. Okay. Um, I've seen him in a lot of sitcoms. Yes, illustrious career. I mean, uh, uh, just Ill- to, wait, I would. Illustrious? Illustrious. Nice, Ill- dude. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's a word. No, I think it is. You used it real good. Yeah. He, <laughs> man, gee, folks, he does it all. Um, I just want to like read off some of his. Uh, oh, let's hear it. Yeah, because um, so the big thing that I re- recognize, you've seen a uh, Freaky Friday with uh, Lindsay Lohan. Oh yeah, for sure. He is Jamie Lee Curtis's client. That is like a freaky, like clingy <laughs> weirdo that like. Yeah crawls on all fours and like hugs her legs okay so funny. a lot of just minor like supporting roles yeah but I, so i'd call him like a plumber actor like uh um that's like kurt russell's dad bing russell he he's just like an everyman but like in so many different things yeah i feel like sure. i've seen him featured in a lot of disney channel nickelodeon yeah. he's probably done a lot of voiceover uh it looks like he was in the garfield movie um groundhog day okay oh yeah um yeah. he punches him yes <laughs> He's the guy he, punches. he just slugs him right in the socket yeah. um memento uh, i don't really remember him from that oh californication i feel like i love that show but i don't exactly remember thelma and louise the lorax like i there's a lot of animated yeah, he, stuff okay. here he, he, he's got an illustrious career yeah oh um, man so booty let me ask you this mm-hmm. do you think it would have been better if they they placed this movie around Halloween time or no? See, that was what was so weird about this movie. Like, is it a Halloween movie? No. Yeah. No, I don't think it is. And uh, so 99 is when well, it came it out. it is when I think when they released it, it was supposed to be. Yeah. But like in the town, I think the pranks would make a little bit more sense. We also see Christmas lights a little too often in this movie. And it kind of led us to believe like, I mean, they just got him out of the garage. Well, it was of a, course. A, another prank yeah. where people are like, wait, it's not Christmas. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So it's like, what and what, why? What's going what on and here? why? <laughs> I I'm this this movie leaves me lost in a lot of key areas. And let's let's do you want to just look at some of our notes? Yeah. Like like. 
just to put a button on the synopsis, the boogeyman is causing issues in Francis' life. We haven't met the boogeyman yet, and it's kind of took a long time to took meet a, him too. <laughs> a long time. There's a crazy twist. Now, I do want to say that, like, in terms of like, like if we talk about like the acting, the setting, and all that stuff, there wasn't a lot of like horrible, horrible flaws for me. Like, I liked some of the actors. There were some bad, but like, there was some great. They were like, I liked Francis and I liked Larry. I mean, they were just bubbly and funny. Yeah. They weren't horrible, terrible. You know, it seems like that's the lack of directing, maybe. Yeah. Or writing. Because, like, for instance, Larry uh -huh. is acting like a kid with a karate playing basketball. More karate basketball people. Yeah. From our last episode. That's it kind a throwback. It was reminiscent of, like, the genie in Aladdin just kind of doing yeah. whatever he wanted. But then when he needed to get serious, he'd be a normal guy yeah. again and just hey and go like straight to being an adult he'd like pose and be like here's exposition about why we're here yeah like it was but he just... was kid he was very kiddish i thought he was supposed to be young in age because he like you know kids yeah why would a grown man be a, their imaginary friend well, why I mean, would this... they be younger yeah <laughs> you I... know what i mean damn disney yeah They're stealing kids lot, again pushing a lot of stuff in this movie like ninja basketball it was... <laughs> We'll get to it. Oh, um, there it is. Right when you said it, it ah, popped up on the screen. Yes. My timing is just on yes. point. We, we so, always like to put the movie on on silent while we're doing yeah, this again. You know, just to like recap, we see yeah. the moments we missed. Because, I mean, this this was a movie like where I think Pat can attest. I took less notes and just kind of watched it. I did have some, and I'm curious to see yours. Um, Pat came well, in hot here's with the thing. opinion if of this you, movie. If you write down every little bad thing we saw, like the list would be so Extensive. big. You, I looked over at you, and sometimes your mouth would just be open yeah, yeah yeah not smiling no emotion just like what the and heck the common thing going through my head watching this was i don't think i really watched this when i was a kid yeah i think it was just on well you just like you see a goofy actor you see some scary things you know it's a simple simple plot yeah you know and they're like scary movie tropes that are like just scary enough for kids yeah right like the shadow do you remember being scared for this movie I kind of like, I didn't like the um they some of the makeup yeah, yeah some, it's like nails cr pretty creepy I mean he's stealing a kid in a giant sock about to throw him <laughs> off a, a cliff I, I also like one of the key things that I remembered in the movie that I was like saw again and I'm like yeah I hated that was like when she steps on the um the sandwich oh the sandwich with the mold sick yeah and I was like yeah it was what were those little tentacles that came up I don't know. I know exactly what you're talking about, and yeah. it must just be like the boogeyman's. Well, she said, "What was that?" And he's like, "Oh, this is a peanut butter sandwich." Yeah. And I'm like, "There's With just like a bunch of like snails all over her. What do you yeah. mean?" I mean, it could have just been like. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Of course, there's lots of plot points that don't make sense, right? No, so, like for yeah. instance, he was like, one of the reveals is what Larry is. Her little brother's oh, imaginary friend. I missed out on Bert. But. Well, so Darwin huh. was like, didn't believe in Larry anymore. Correct? Yeah. So that's how I gathered it as well. Was yeah, like but Darwin. So Dar. This is the weird cancer subplot that we have to address. So weird this entire time. So Darwin had leukemia, and at some point during the childhood, how, we don't know how long ago, Darwin is having to, you he know, needs a bone face marrow fears of yeah. transfer. Yeah, and I think the way that Francis put it was like, I wanted him to grow up so that he could face his fears with cancer and not be so scared. So I stopped believing in my own imaginary friend. Yeah. And he had one too. And she was like, that's not real. Yeah, and it's time to grow up and yeah. beat this thing and blah, 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 blah. Larry basically goes, I didn't know you were Darwin's sister. Remember that part? Yeah. And it's like, weren't you around him for a long, long time in his life? Couldn't have possibly walked into her room by accident. I mean,. No, yeah, seen I mean, her at the breakfast table. Any anything like in his house, like at the hospital, like all, yeah, she was around for all of that. Yeah. So like little <laughs> things like that. I was just like, can you imagine <sighs> telling your imaginary friend like, hey, I'm gonna get in the car. You can't come. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want you to the my family. My mother's got this thing. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Can you just chill here? So I, I just like have like I started taking too many notes. Like you, like you said, I, I did take some. So like, let's just go down that. Like guys, like they beat the boogeyman. That's the they do it. They do it great. Yeah, in Canada. with a lot of imagination. Yeah, and imagination. And do apologies. It. Do, it. do it. Imagination. Thank you. Remember the hypnosis line? Yeah, I do remember the discussion of it, but I yeah. don't understand. The mom goes, what if someone is hypnotizing all the kids in the town? And the dad's like, now how are they going to do that? 
and then the little Television kid like turns on, on the TV, Burnt. and it's like a little pause for a laugh track, right? Yeah. In reality, Disney's just been like, "Here's what we're doing." <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess that's just them like acknowledging that like we're 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 gonna take control of your kids. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna put them in a big sock and throw yeah. them off a, a, a cliff. And up next is Even Stevens. Uh, <laughs> you're um, watching the Pat Cave. Yeah, I'm Patrick Clark, Clark and, and I'm Alex Booty, and, and you're, you're watching, watching the Pat Cave. Cave. Oh do, my, do, 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 do. <laughs> oh my God, I love that shit. Wait, you um, got a note? Yeah, creepy, creepy situation with the teacher. Um, so Francis is like entering high school. And it's not even the teacher's fault, really. She just like is with her friend Joe. You know, they're they're leaving their neighborhood. They get to high school. However, they do it. They don't show it. <laughs> Bless you. Sorry. Thank you. Yes. Um, okay. Go on. And so they're walking down the sidewalk, and they say hi to the chemistry teacher, Mr. Kepler. And Mr. Kepler is like got this really nice, you know, uh, convertible that comes into play. But Francis just goes, that's my biology teacher, and just looks at her friend and goes, I think he really likes me. And I'm just like, all right. Like, they could have, they didn't have to have that in the movie at all. But, well, like, who pushed for that? The teacher? <laughs> so, so weird. It was just weird. No, like, no, it was, it was strange. He, I think what it was is, like, he was smiling in a weird way as well. Yeah. He was like, hi, Francis. Like that. Yeah. Because he was like obsessed with his car in the moment. Yeah. And but she was like, that's that's my English teacher. He really likes me. Yeah. Like and it was like I think it was supposed to just be like she's eighth grade. Right. She's going into high school. Yeah, All of her like, friends are in middle school because she was moved up a grade. Mm -hmm. Speaking of friends, Joe. Oh, yeah. So Joe is in a the movie. worst actor of the movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. So she is in a movie that I grew up watching. It's about and which movie. Um, it's called Little Secrets, and it's actually Evan Rachel Wood, um, the kid from Sky High, and then the other main character is the one of the brothers from Seventh Heaven, who's also in the movie Super Eight, the hot, the hippie yep. that gets high in the car. Yep. So all it is, is yeah, we're not going to talk about it. It's just like I recognized her from just that, and I was like, oh, there's got to be something else she's in, and I did it. I did the thing that I always do, and I was like, is that? The pregnant girl from Hustle and Flow, <laughs> who's like, it's hot out here for a pimp. I'm not going to sing the rest of that. But uh, I was wrong. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> Yet again. Yeah. I love that. Get ready for our upcoming episode where I prove to you how wrong I am. Uh, so, yeah, that was like a, another well, connection so, I was trying to make in yeah. my booty brain. They never really touched back on Joe because she's got a crush on her brother. Yes, yes. And, and then the boogeyman... Getting back at, at Francis yeah. and puts flowers in the lawn that says, yeah. Joe loves Bert. And she's like, how could you, Francis? Yeah. I hate you. Why would you use your horticulture skills against me? <laughs> like, wouldn't it be easier if she just, like, told everybody? Yeah, um, it was it was strange. And, like, Francis was like, all right, well, there goes Joe. It wasn't like, I lost my best friend. Like, yeah. never go back to the best friend thing. She never comes back. And I, I think that's for the best. Yeah, I do, too. I think they realized that. <laughs> I think, you know, she... Anyways, yeah. so sorry about you. Um, Bye, Joe. Your name? Bye, Joe. Just Bye. Just J O. No e. lips come. Um, it's like short for Joanne or something. But yeah. yeah, probably. So um, that was that was one of your notes is that she was a terrible actor. Yeah, it just says Joe Friend. bad. Yeah. Joe bad. Joe bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not Joe cool. <laughs> Joe bad. Uh, I just have a note here that says yes Canada and I don't know what that comes from but we can talk about it I think so it was the hockey scene maybe the, it was the, it was that it was the accents it was like so many yeah but like we don't see a license plate on any of the cars because they're probably like no. not allowed to it was just a lot of like yes we're in Canada there's a, yeah, Larry suddenly in a hockey outfit he's playing the piano and playing this I don't know yeah just I think you know a lot of the couches too are like striped like you know, kind of thing. Isn't that a can yeah, Canadian thing? Yeah, the is kind of like French. So I'm like thinking like French Canadian, like he, sure. I mean, whatever that accent sure. was. Sure. Yeah, right. That terrible accent. Um, yeah, that's my note. Next note for you. Um, <laughs> I think we might have just talked about all my notes already. No way. Okay. Well, yeah, girl imaginary turned into male. Oh, yeah. I got some. Okay, let's hear it. Go uh, there should be a drinking game for this movie, you guys. Okay. Drink every single time Larry changes clothes. Yeah, <laughs> you'd be oh, so for sure. trashed. Oh yeah, the, it it's very similar to the movie This Is the End with James Franco, 
yeah. every <laughs> single scene. And that was comedic. Like, this one was like, no, he's an imaginary friend, and thus he should have a big closet. Yeah, like well, I mean, he, he's like magic, basically. Yeah. So he's always doing tricks and stuff like that. So like, very genie. You know, yeah, it's genie. It's like you said, Aladdin. You know, mm-hmm. genie ass aspects. Yeah, some genie ass aspects or genie ass ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so let's. You got anything else? Yeah, I do have a, a couple things. There was just a f- funny line. Um, I was gonna make my wiggly fruit thing. Like, where's oh, all that yeah, gelatin? The gelatin. The gelatin. Poor Which, dad. I. I the dad was getting made fun of for cleaning. For being a stay-at-home dad? Yeah. Yo, gonna say it, you guys. Dream job. <laughs> Four sharks. Yeah, um, the boogeyman. Uh, you know, Larry was like, your dad likes to vacuum? Yeah. What's wrong with him? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> so mean. Let's talk about the ending a little bit. So, like, what's the what's the big twist? Earlier you oh, said there's a yeah. big... It's twisty. It's twisty. Very twisty. And I had a very big twist that is a defunct. But I <laughs> okay. I, but let's talk about the real so, one. So Darwin gets pulled into the underworld, boogie world. the boogie world. Yes, yeah. the boogeyman boots boogie world. Yeah, I'm familiar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you you've been there. Yeah, What's under your bed? Whole lot of socks. No, there's no rollerblades <laughs> and batteries and. No? Uh, right now, nah. No. no well, so anyway, they go down there, and it's kind of like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids vibes. Yes. So there's a big race car. Um, there's a uh, battery. Yeah. Huge sock. Yeah, a couple of Book. paper clips. Yeah, sandwich. Sandwich. Peanut, peanut, peanut butter and jelly, jelly with squids. <laughs> yeah, and it's moldy. Uh, yeah. It's just it's, a whole lot of gross it, stuff. That weird bunny And thing. they just start punching out with the boogeyman, right? Yeah, they just get into a tussle with the boogeyman. Yep. They do have a who can't stop rhyming. Oh, he's a rhymer. Yeah, yeah he's a poet or whatever. Oh, sorry, she. Oh, boogie, there's the boogie twist. Person. You gave the twist away. <laughs> yes, huh? I did. So Francis, <laughs> let's yeah, let's break this down. Francis, so, the whole movie said she never had an imaginary friend. Right, and I think she genuinely. We're led to believe that she genuinely forgot. Yeah, but um, I I knew she was lying because of her acting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were suspicious <laughs> for reasons related don't to your be body suspicious. language. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I love you, Jenny Slate. Come be on our podcast. Back in childhood, when he Franny's, had Larry, Franny stopped believing in her imaginary friend too soon. Right. Which we know, due to the boogie laws, mm-hmm. it's in the book they have. Her name was Zoe. Yes, she turned too early. Yeah. But she did turn into an old guy, though. Yeah, 100% that was a male actor. Yeah. I shouldn't assume. Uh, oh. <laughs> the boogeyman's gender. Well. Boogeyman, clearly in the... All right. So anyways. <laughs> that was, they kept saying boogie person. person. Just right at the end there. Boogie person, yeah. Yeah, they were really ahead of their so time. So that was the twist, and they become friends, and they were both dressed like the dolls they played with when they were younger. Yes. Um, the uh, cowboy. Darwin, Darwin had a doll that kind of looked like Larry. Yeah. And uh, Francis had a doll that looked like the Annabelle doll from all the yeah, horror movies. Yeah, kept looking at her head. Turning her head all the time. Like, wee, wee, yeah, wee. so weird. So how about you talk about the big, big twist at the end? So <laughs> your face just got so weird because it was just like it was the weirdest thing I've ever witnessed in a Disney Channel original <laughs> yeah. movie. Yeah, but what is what does he do? What does he do at the end? There is no prompting. There is no heads up for the audience. He hasn't been hitting on her, not at all. And remember, she's you know thirteen, twelve. Yeah. There's only 13. one. There's one hint at the beginning of the movie where Larry is on top of a school monument or sign, and he's just like laying there sunbathing. Yeah, she's, and she goes, "Who's that guy looking?" Yeah, at she me? smiles. She kind of like, and you Joe know, is like, "What are you flirty. talking about?" Yeah, she's I have like, to go to acting's class. But that's it. They did a couple of flirty things, and then a th- throw away. We there's probably some deleted scenes out there. If you guys can find them, send them to us. I would love <laughs> to see this. Um, but yeah, so well, this movie was already 133 minutes. Mm-hmm, but and whenever that sappy love music starts playing in a movie like this, I mean, out of nowhere, a, out of nowhere, he goes up and just kisses her. They defeat the boogeyman. They uh, they gave they give they give Francis the unfortunate news. Hey, like you're not going to be able to talk to us anymore because you're growing up. Yeah, and, and it's about time you didn't have imaginary friends. Which <laughs> is stupid because, like, what about Darwin? Is he not going to talk to? Well, no, he's anymore? still. He said, "I'll be there for Darwin." Oh, okay, but, I missed that. But you're just too old. And, yeah. and then, and then he like says, "Step aside." Yeah, and, and then walks up and 
kisses her. And you guys, like, Patrick and I looked at each other. We paused the movie. We're like, did did he say, like, did she say I, something about being too young? You know, I've never I'm, had my first kiss. Yeah, and we're yeah, thinking, yeah. like, we're going to, we missed it. We're stupid. <laughs> so we, we rewind, and yeah. there is no mention yeah. of infatuation at all from her it was There's, just out of nowhere he just walks up and plants a big old kiss on francis bacon <laughs> mccausland crispy yeah talk about fake names that whole family's name mccausland crispy <laughs> extra crispy <laughs> <laughs> oh my god like it yeah. just that pat's right it came out of nowhere it really threw us off it just did not belong in the movie i think the movie would have been totally fine with her accepting you know, I'm grown up. I don't have any imaginary yeah, friends. Yeah, She could have. There was no love interest for her. And I think they were like, oh, you know, like Disney. We should have. Yeah. It needs what, a what kiss. We thinking? It needs romance. We forgot. Yeah. You know, let's just add that. That seemed like an afterthought for sure. Yeah. There was a lot of afterthoughts. In, <laughs> a lot of afterthoughts. Uh, in this movie. Another uh, moment that um, I wrote was just like, don't look under the bench. Like, <laughs> it seemed like the bed was a thing. But like, she's like taking a break because, you know, she's clearly going crazy. Yeah. So they're like, oh, you want to go lay down? She does. Yeah, and then like spooky mist comes up from this bench underneath her at, at the school. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, like hoping the I guess wherever she sleeps, whatever's under her is like a portal to. Hang on a second. No, it was her bed. It was her bed, right? Well, not in the school. What you were talking about with the bench? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it was Darwin's bed. Sorry, I'm. I'm... No, it was her bed. Yeah, because they were in his room, and she's like, he's like, okay, well, I'm gonna go play toys in your room, and he sat down. Got snagged because they made that goopy goo. But then why were his toys under her bed? The car. Oh, wait. Those were all her toys. It was his bed. Those were her toys. The car? Yeah. Guys, just don't go looking under your bed. That's what we have to say about <laughs> Well, that's the moral of the story, I guess. Don't look under there. Just don't. Just um, don't. Can I really briefly... Like I don't think I have any crazy actors other than we can talk about like the actors in it. There was just some weird stuff. I mean, the, here's, here's what I... I have to tell you what I thought. What? So I'm I'm watching this movie unfold, and we are in a scene where like they have the guidance counselor over for uh, dinner, <laughs> and and in the back room, it, it's it's like Larry is like Dobby the Elf, and like Harry. Yeah, is, that's like, a good way to put it. Literally, like you know, like be quiet, like you know, trying to stop him. Yes. Yeah. And, and so, and like when they see the mess, they ultimately always blame Harry because yeah. no one can see Dobby. It's the same thing here. Yes. In so, the kitchen. So, again, I do this thing where I think somebody is someone and they're not. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do? So her name is the uh, girl that pulled the no used um no sock out of her mouth. Not the guidance counselor. Oh, okay. So I thought. That the mom, whose name is Robin Riker, I thought that she was the home ec teacher from Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. Because they're okay. so similar. Like, if you see a photo. So, I'm going to type. Uh, you know what I thought about? It's funny you said that because I thought about Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. And why did you? Because of the purple goop in the kitchen. And <laughs> yeah. also, the, the mom comes in and goes, you're not in home ec. And that was We her should job. watch that. We should watch that movie. We'll bring up that. Okay. It's the spooky season. That's not spooky. Oh, speaking of spooky, we didn't even mention Halloween. I mean we said Happy it was Halloween. we said it was spooky. Do you usually watch Halloween movies? Like I mean, what what's your kind of a sp a scary scary, gory, no, no. like nostalgic like this? Yeah. A, a great friend of mine like would say, you know, like he likes horror movies, but that there's not enough Halloween themed movies. And I think Disney Channel did a great job of putting out media that's like kind when of we about were the lore. Growing up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I Halloween mean, I don't, know, town. I don't know what these guys are doing lately. You know, Hocus Pocus was a classic, of course. Yes. I love Hocus Pocus. I love Halloween Town. Yeah. Like these movies aren't meant to be scary, but they're more meant to illustrate some of these like make believe, like, you know, tropes of halloween yeah and to give them kind of like in a, a funny ex explanation well it's like how do you dumb down a scary movie for a kid you know what i mean like, yeah or they're like funny like, don't make it too scary right it's like who done it like like mystery stuff yeah mixed with like spook jump scares like, that are horrible mom's dating a vampire yeah mom's got a date with a vampire <laughs> yeah. Yeah. um uh, another movie that i brought up to the table like maybe we'll watch it at some point was just, uh phantom, phantom of, of the, the megaplex. megaplex like yeah like under I, wraps was 
maybe one that I think might be in this category of like I re- kind of remember the main parts. Yeah. But if we watched it again, I'd probably be like, what the heck is going on? I just remember there's a mummy and he's got toilet paper. Yeah. Genuinely. I think don't he joins the football else. team. I don't know. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> because Ryan's in that. No. Never yeah. Mind. So I my whole thing was like, oh, my God, if that's the same actor from Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off, then this movie is in the same universe as Eddie's Million Dollar <laughs> Cook-Off. In fact, I'm wrong again, and that is not Robin Riker. That is an Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. It's someone else with you don't red have, hair. You don't have and, to look that up. Uh, but she was. What? Andy Brink's mom in Brink. Brink. Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah, that's his mom. In that's that. awesome. And there's they very they look kind of similar. Like, if you look Soul up all these skaters. actresses, or actors, they do look similar. Anyways. Yeah. That's good job, man. You almost got it again. I know. One of these days you'll recognize it. I certainly hope so. I mean, other than that, uh, the book A man, like, uh, like, sorry, like it was sound, like, everything was so Canadian that it was. I wanted to like take a shower. Yeah. Um, Speaking of shower, right when you said that, she's getting, uh, she's she taking a shower. Wrap. Well, no, they got it, milk exploded all over them. They're covered oh, in she, white she stuff. About to hop in the shower, and she's hopping in the shower. The guy's in the mirror. Larry's in the mirror. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that was weird. And she goes, how long have you been in there? He just, like, doesn't mention anything. Shrugs. He's, he's like, I mean, come on, I'm imaginary. Like, yeah. You know, what, what, you, uh, can you blame me? Like, so he had a couple weird. of, like, one-liners that were, like, you know, like, jokes that he was making, which ha- felt like they had no direction. Like, the one where he just throws the clock and he goes, huh, time flies. There was yeah. no reason for that at all. Yeah, what she, she need the timer for? Oh, the the machine he built. Yeah, which I can't remember what it was called, but the deflagulator or some bullshit. <laughs> What'd I, you call me? Yeah, sorry, bro. Um, there was, yeah, there exactly. Was, like, he, it literally is like the genie, like, where he's just like, <laughs> like Daffy Duck. Yeah. It's just walking around making references to stuff that I couldn't get. Well, the, the thing is, I think the, the point was like, he said, this is very simple to a child, but like to an adult, it's. They'd never understand. They'd never understand because it's all imagination, right? Yeah. So. Anyway, th- I mean, it's one of those movies that I think tried to have a good message about, like, never grow up and keep your imagination and blah, blah. But, like, also, oh, no. 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 <laughs> Not at all. What was that, dude? Yeah, the whole end was so weird. Like, Francis and Darwin get back in bed and go to bed, and then Larry and Zoe are just, like, uh, Creeping over him for a second. Him. What's yeah. the point of walking downstairs and walking out of the driveway if they're just going to, like, Go back into the bed and watch. They them literally sleep. lie. They're like, "We're never gonna see you again." And then they go to bed. <laughs> like, okay, imagine this. So the parents come in, yeah. right? They were like, "Zoe, uh, not Zoe, um, Larry, Fran, Fran, no, Francis, Francis. <laughs> Bacon Girl, Francis. We're so sorry. We didn't believe you about all these pranks. Yeah, something is happening in, in Centerville. Centerville. Yeah, that is the same thing that's going on here. So it can't, it can't be you. No." And then all of a sudden she she's like, oh, thank you, appreciate it, you know, yeah, I knew, I know. Yeah. And then goes outside and starts talking to nobody in the yeah, driveway, she, which she did. And then kissed nobody. Nobody at all. Imagine her parents being like, oh no, no, no. Honey, get the straight jacket. Honey, call yeah. the guidance counselor. Yeah. And I mean, what about that news crew that just showed up at their house? Oh yeah. 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 Nothing going on in Middleburg, huh? Yeah. Clearly not. <laughs> Except. I thought the dad was probably the the best part for me. Yeah, he was like nerdy. because I like that actor, and yeah. and he had he just had a Steven lot to do, Tabla, a lot Tabla a lot Oski. to do. Yeah, he did. The mom was the most Canadian thing about the movie. In <laughs> oh, my opinion. I don't know about a bo- a bo- I can't do it. A boot. Sorry. Uh, what's a, a, bo- a, a boogeyman boots score? Oh my god. Um, we Boogie should've... Man Boots. On a scale, what of... is your score? On a scale of one to, we should have watched Phantom of the Megaplex. <laughs> uh, so, like, this is the only time of year where it's applicable for you to watch this movie. Yeah. Oh, I would just say skip it. Skip it. it. Ruined it in my head for me. Yeah. I actually, no, it was fun. If you have, I would just say, if you have instincts about like. Which Disney Channel original movies you found were so good? You're probably right because there were some stinkers. Oh yeah. This oh is, yeah. This is on the list. I would for say. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. so so what's the score? What's the boogeyman boot score? Th- three out of ten. Yeah, that sounds like there was like just like a thumping of nostalgia 
that kept me going. That's yeah. like maybe I'll see something cool. Yeah. <laughs> like I saw, like I saw the little the car makeup, under the, the bed. makeup and the effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like it was so bad. Like the Your sock, face. like when when the boogeyman sticks his finger through the sock oh, and the brothers it inside the, it. The green I was like, screen. Oh, I remember oh, that. There was yeah. so much bad green screen, which is it's ninety nine, so it makes sense. But like, uh, yeah, yeah, there was. They tried, but so okay, you gave it a three out of ten. My boogeyman boot score is, I mean, it it a two point four. So you had two point four out of ten. I, yeah. There was sometimes I'd like kind of looked over and was just like. Oh my, oh my god. god. Like should we fast forward some of this? Like Yeah. Yeah. Like the the moment where Francis goes to high school and like there's just like they're all standing in place and then Yeah, they try to do some creepy stuff. Like no one believes the, me. The score would cut out at times where I was like, You should have some background music here. <laughs> oh yeah. Like You think yeah, that would have improved it? Something in post. <laughs> something. I don't know. Fix it in post, the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. Like if you know you're... what? Hey, how about this? I just had a thought. Uh huh. Do you think you could remake this movie into actually something good nowadays? Like if Disney Plus. I don't know enough about the boogeyman. No, well, if Disney Plus, they kind of have a cool concept, right? It's just that they just tried to pack so many things into it with the pranks and the and the underworld and the friends and the Canada, the rules Canada. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I but you like, know I'm sick of like remakes, but like yeah. maybe. I mean it. Hey, because I mean, we haven't no visited boogie. Centerville, so like, oh, we could do a sequel. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, make it nostalgic though. Like, put it in the nineties. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. I don't want to see no, this. no, no more. I want to revisit. Let's forget about Middleburg. This, okay? I'm gonna have some strange dreams tonight. Yeah. Mm. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, gym I think we. Should, <laughs> I, I think uh, is that a good stopping point? I think that's a good. T- I think that's a good stopping point. All right. Not a bad start for a ho- first Halloween episode, right? No, it's not. Did you have fun? Uh, we didn't carve pumpkins or like, you know. Yeah, no, we had twisted or- teas <laughs> and 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 Cheez-Its. Yep, yep. Hot, hot and spicy. Hot yeah. and spicy Cheez-Its. Hot and spicy Cheez-Its. But maybe for the next one, we'll have uh, maybe some friends over and like put on, some, you know. You know, some spooky music and make Ooh. drinks and stuff and be spooky and carve pumpkins. We could do some bloody, bloody Marys. Ooh, okay, okay. But yeah. what are you thinking for the next one? Can we tell them? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So, uh, how do I wake you up in the morning anytime I like run into the house? I forget. No, we're not doing that one. We can't. No, let's not do that one. One, two, three. <gasps> when is Boy Meets World? Okay, um, <laughs> we're going to watch the, uh, I think the episode's season five, episode 17, according to Sean. Sean, okay, yeah, something. the Boy Meets World Halloween episode. Yeah. With, I, what'd you say, Jennifer Love Jennifer Hewitt? Jennifer Love Hewitt is a guest yeah. star on it. I'm excited to revisit that because I, I don't think I've seen it since it probably aired on Disney Channel. And I saw it a lot, but like I said, I thought I saw it. Don't look under the bed a lot too. Yeah. So I could forget some stuff, right? Yeah, I just remember I love Eric. I yeah. love Eric so much, so I can't wait to like see some like funny Oh, it's so good. There's some classic moments in that. Yeah. I feel like that was our friends. Yeah. It, well, you know, I grew up with that show, so Same. like that, it does have a special place in my heart. I want to punch Corey every time I see him. <laughs> but <laughs> So anyway, that's that's the next episode. But also I think we also you know, we're gonna do one more Halloween one too, right? Yeah, we got um we have Goosebumps. Goosebumps, because the new one just came out. Yeah, Justin Long's in that one. I think there's another actor I'm forgetting, but I think so this one's based off of Say Cheese and Die, which is a Goosebumps book I've read. And Patrick and I will try to like watch another Goosebumps for perspective. We'll watch an old one. And then one of the episodes, the first episode of the new one. I Love it. Kind of All right. Cool. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Boom. First, we got to put this one out. Uh, thank you like, for subscribe. Yes. <laughs> Do all that. Like, big stretch. Big stretch. Uh, <laughs> drink all your water. Breathe through your nose. Breathe through your nose. <laughs> and please reach out. Like, we love talking to reach our Reach out. Fans. We need help. <laughs> yeah. We need suggestions. Oh, I, I, was, I was talking about um, with my taxes. Oh. Yeah. That was the Pat Cave. Thanks for listening. <laughs> As always, that's Patrick Clark. Okay. I'm Boogeyman Boots. Boogeyman Boots. And we're out. Out. Hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs>